please stand and join in the singing of our national anthem led by the Ashwaubenon High School Concert Choir. Welcome, class of 2016. I'd like to start by thanking Dr. Haynes, Mr. Nelson, Mr. Ribbons, who couldn't be here today, Mr. Sanger, and of course, Ms. Bunkman, who probably did the most to put this on for us. If you think Bunk has been happier lately, it's probably because she could put a Cubs jersey on her dog. It, uh, so, welcome parents, grandparents, siblings, and guests. And as this is the 50th graduating class of Ashwaubenon High School, I welcome all returning alumni as well. But most importantly, I'd like to congratulate my fellow, fellow graduating class of 2016 on somehow surviving the last four years together. I would like to begin by telling you that this speech is going to be four minutes long. I think you deserve to know this because, much like high school was, this speech is a finite experience. And for you, the audience, I realize that quite possibly the best part of this speech will be four minutes from now when it is over. <laughs> so the finale of our experience is today here and now. Four years together at AHS with its hallways to nowhere, lack of air conditioning, and horrible pun-filled announcements. Today it is all coming to an end. Whether you are jumping for joy or remorseful, this chapter of our lives is over. For many of us, we are not only leaving at Schwaben on high school, but the city itself, going to work or study somewhere else. The experience for some felt endless, and for others is ending too soon, has provided all of us with something much more than four years of memories. You see, this final experience has actually opened up an infinite number of possibilities for us. For the last four years, our lives have been primarily consumed by school. Knowing we just had to get through today, this class, or this year, we probably saw most of the same friends every day and talked to many of the same people and probably had a part-time job or a serious accomplishment to be making anything above minimum wage. We all, got, we all came out to support our athletes in all kinds of weather in all parts of the state. We all got to dance like we weren't about to go tens of thousands of dollars into debt. As a class, we accomplished a lot together. We made headlines across the United States for taking a stand against the WIAA. But now, we are going to leave these doors to go places where we will meet a seemingly infinite amount of people do all kinds of different jobs, and make all new experiences. Right now, we are truly standing at the base of a mountain that has no peak. The amount of things we can accomplish, how, how high we can climb, is unlimited. You can stare at the rest of your life ahead of you and wonder how you're going to spend your days, how you're going to journey through life, and how daunting of a challenge that is. But this challenge is a great excitement, and it is sure to shape each of us differently. 
In 15 years, we'll be able to look back and realize that part of this process, these last four years, was a stepping stone to our individualism. It is here in high school we learned so much, not only about science and math, but about ourselves. Whether this school was a safe haven or felt more like a prison for you, this is the place you can look back on and contribute to your ability to succeed and overcome in the future. So as both this speech and high school come to an end, keep in mind that although the time we have spent here was finite, the ways in which it will impact us are infinite because these four years have helped shape us as the people we are and the people we will become. Thank you. Good afternoon, class of 2016. I'd like to thank all of you for coming today. Parents, grandparents, brothers and sisters, family, friends, and teachers. Thank all of you, because without you, the crowd you see here in front of you in those green caps and gowns wouldn't be sitting here. Let's have a round of applause for all of our accomplishments and hard work. Now looking back, we've realized that for about $12.99 plus tax at the Target nearest you, you can buy this little metaphor for life. Uh, the past 12 years of high school is just like solving a Rubik's Cube. You start to solve it, and then you realize you have no idea what you're doing. So then you want to give up and think you're wasting your time. However, you've just gotten the Rubik's Cube and are just getting started trying to make it through. On the first day of high school, everything was dependent on your first moves where you were going to sit at lunch, what kind of clothes you wore, and what kinds of friends you made. Just like the Rubik's Cube, you strategize your every turn. We didn't know how it would turn out, but we kept pushing through. And at this point, the Rubik's Cube probably looks like a jumbled mess. I think most of you agree that's how most of high school was. But we made it. We made it through the good times and the hard times. Our first high school semester finals, our driving test, Toilet papering during homecoming, those Friday night football games, your first heartbreak, the late nights studying for tests, your second heartbreak, prom, your third heartbreak, realizing you're the problem, everything. All with a little encouragement from those around us. Class of 2016, look around. The people sitting next to you have, the, have been there for you a lot over the last few years. And maybe it's not the same people from 10 years ago or 6 years ago, but no matter how long, somebody has been there. You have built friendships and memories that you will remember. As some say, these are some of the best days of your lives. I mean, how can't they be? You're surrounded by friends, you can try almost anything, your job works around your school schedule, and you can pretty much eat anything without worrying about your weight or high cholesterol. <clears throat> and you can live at home, you're kind of living the life until you move on to something better. So back to the Rubik's Cube. You keep trying and trying, but still nothing. At this point, you are frustrated beyond belief. But for some reason, you keep pushing through. You take that chance. And it might not have paid off, but you still took it. The only things in life that you regret are the chances you didn't take. Life is all about taking chances. You win some, you lose some. But it all depends on you taking that one shot. When solving a Rubik's Cube, sometimes you have to mess it up to get to where you really want to end up. Life is strange that way. And sometimes the future might seem scary. There's so much to be unsure about. With constant pressure from family members about where you're going to college, or what you're going to do after high school, or what you want to do with your life, it can be a bit too much to handle. There's just so much we don't know. But the future doesn't have to be as scary. The uncertainty allows us to create opportunities for ourselves and take those risks. And who says the dreams you had since you were seven can't come true? The future can be anything you want it to be. After all, we are the class of 2016. Some of us are off to pursue athletic careers, become teachers, CEOs, police officers, translators. Some of us will save countless lives. Every one of us will head in different directions but all of us will change the world. 
You see, the key to solving a Rubik's Cube is to remember where you're coming from and to focus on where you're going. It's all an algorithm. And once you figure out the algorithm, it all starts to make sense. Eventually, you end up on the right track. Parts of your life start falling into place. It begins to make sense. Everything you've learned fits together. You have closure, and life is good. When we move on to things in life, we'll struggle and we'll fall. But when we keep pushing through and keep taking those risks, like the Rubik's Cube, we'll end up with something pretty amazing, no matter how you look at it. Class of 2016, good luck in your future endeavors and keep solving that Rubik's Cube. To start with, to start with, I need to make clear that this speech is for the entirety of the Ashwaubenon High School class of 2016, not merely the honor roll, not merely the kids going to a university next fall, not just the scholarship recipients. While they should be commended for their hard work, I feel like too many speeches are based merely on them, the top 10%, and not the majority of the student body. This speech is for them as well as the students in the middle, the students that liked high school and are going to miss some of the great times we had here, as well as the students can't, that can't wait to get out of school and get on with their lives. At this point, though, I'm pretty sure all of us are ready to get out of here. Personally, high school for me was a great time. I'm going to miss the football games, the homecoming events, especially our class tug of war streak, and just hanging out with classmates, and sometimes, well, a lot of the times, complaining about some of our classes. Yet for others, as I mentioned, this may not be the case. And because of that, I say, our great times here will stick with us as we live our lives. Maybe the great times we had and the fun memories we've made, maybe a teacher that made our time here fun, or maybe just the fact that these were our first memories out on our own. You can love them, you can hate them, but they were ours and we will take them with us forever. And as for life, I think it can be summarized pretty well by Vince Lombardi. Perfection is not attainable, but if we chase perfection, we can catch excellence. Speaking again on the diversity of our class, this excellence is different for everyone. It can be as straightforward as graduating from a four-year college, such as St. Norbert's or UWGB, and getting the degree you want to make yourself successful in life. Or it could be going to NWTC and finding that one special skill you have that can benefit yourself and the others in the future. Or it could be none of these things. You could be going straight out of high school into the workforce, or you could be going to the military. You could feel like maybe you're done with high school and all the stuff you needed to live a successful life you learned here. You don't need any extra schooling. And as you can see, excellence isn't defined by a strict set of parameters. It's basically entirely what our parents have been telling us our entire lives. Do what makes you happy. That's the true excellence in life, finding the one, or maybe the many things in your life that makes life worth living. It could be finding someone, getting your education, or doing your part as a citizen of the world to try and better yourself and everyone you meet. It could be having a family, making a scientific breakthrough, or it could be helping someone at your job, conveniently located just five miles away from school. Whatever gets you out of bed every day loving the life that you're living, that's how true success is defined. High school was our first step to finding that excellence, not the incessant classes that we think will have nothing to do with the rest of our lives, but the relationships and the experiences that we had here that will help guide us towards a better future for ourselves. And hey, if you remember a little bit from your Global Issues class, it's just an added bonus. That is my definition of success that I will hold on to dearly, right alongside the memories of our class, the class of 2016. I can only hope that I find that success in my life, and I sincerely hope that all of you do too. Thank you, it's been a fun ride. And can I get a hoya? <laughs>
class of 2016. In the words of Mr. Ribbons, you look great. You know, it's really surreal to stand up here in front of everyone, knowing that this is the last time that we'll all ever be together. You look around and see all of these people who have meant a multitude of different things to you throughout your time here. We dread the thought of parting from those who are closest to us, but sometimes it's the goodbyes from those that played minimal roles in our lives, those that we may never see again, that are the hardest. From the kid who you could always rely on to not have their homework done so you weren't the only one. From the kid you got stuck sitting by in almost every class in standardized tests because their last name is right next to yours in the alphabet. From the girl who always had gum in her backpack and is willing to share when the sweet smell of school lunches starts to settle on your breath. The thought of leaving each other brings up a flood of emotion and memories. When we were writing this speech, it was terribly difficult to focus on just one emotion, just one memory. Fortunately though, we were able to receive some assistance from a friend of ours. And here's what he told us. Avoid cliches. Don't be mean. <laughs> Reflect. Give advice. Don't lose your place in the speech. <laughs> be appreciative. Present opportunity. And be humorous. Thanks, Mr. Dreyer. Upon considering Mr. Dreyer's advice, which we easily could have gotten from a Google search and didn't follow very well, we found our speech. Apart from those we've met and the friends we've made while in high school, we want to acknowledge some people who often don't get the recognition that they deserve at these ceremonies. Going into high school, we may have expected them to be some of our worst enemies. But as we prepare to leave them forever, it turns out they've become the very center of our most cherished memories. They have facilitated our transformation from Mr. Sheedy's brand of trailblazers and scuffies into what we are today. The class that collectively earned more than $1 million in scholarships took a stand against the WIAA for something that we believed in and drove Mr. Sheedy out of the building after only one year. Our teachers are more than their job title suggests. Teachers at Ashwaubenon High School take on so many roles in our lives beyond what is expected from them. And though we may never see them again, instead of delivering one final goodbye, we would like to present them with one final thank you from all of us, and here's why. At Ashwaubenon High School, we see classrooms transformed into destinations. Mrs. Zangler's Zoo, Mr. Albrin's Aquarium, Mr. Phillips' Sports Arena, Mrs. Hilgeman's library, and Mr. Hill's, well, let's just say there's a reason his last name is only one letter off from the place down under. Just kidding. They make us laugh, Mr. Hill makes us cry, not kidding. And at the end of the day, we know they want what's best for us. Our teachers are here because they love what they teach, where they teach, and who they teach. When speaking to students at other schools in the area, it's not hard to pick out what makes the Schwabadon stand out from the masses. There is no such thing as an ordinary lesson with the teachers that we have. If it's not the social studies teachers ganging up to row students in the hallway during passing time, then it's listening to another song that Mr. Fisher wrote about Miss Daniel and her anal tendencies. <laughs> they can turn something as simple as DNA transcription into a thrilling and literally breathtaking, amazing race style journey throughout the school. Though we may not recall the sign of pi over three, or who the 22nd president of the United States was 20 years from now, we will remember eating lunch in our favorite teacher's room while watching Animal Planet, or asking our teacher, whose door is always open, for advice about where to go to college. Our teachers showed us that being passionate about your career is far more important than the money that comes with it. They showed us that doing something with passion not only changes your life, but also changes the lives around you. Doctors heal, contractors build, lawyers fight, and bankers invest. But teachers do not just teach. They drive our thirst for knowledge, our passion to learn, ignite a spark to lead us to our dreams. And we would not be sitting here, or in our case, standing here, without them. Um, not all of us took Spanish, or Calc, or Wood Tech, or Physics, or Food. But we all took something, and we all have a teacher to thank. 
Thank you for being more than just a broken record that knows how to use a PowerPoint. Thank you for teaching me that numbers and letters do not define me, that I am more than a grade. Thank you for asking us how it's going and sticking around to hear the answer, especially when it isn't going so well. Thank you for providing us with a home away from home. Thank you for teaching us that quality trumps quantity and effort is always evident. Thank you for laughing with us. Thank you for showing us how to succeed. And thank you for believing in our future. Thank you.
Class of 2016, it didn't dawn on me until uh, I listened to Heather and Leah's speech that uh, part of your legacy was to uh, run off my good friend and former principal, Mark Sheedy. But I suppose I should thank you for that because otherwise I wouldn't have had the opportunity to spend the last three years with just a very classy group of kids. You've done everything right and today's no different, so I salute you for that. Tyler, not only a good job in providing the welcome today, but in the leadership you provided the senior class this year, thank you. Choir, band, awesome. You continue to amaze me with your talent. Darren, Jasmine, Carter, Heather, Leah, you did a wonderful job today to speak in front of such a uh, large crowd and, and your classmates with such poise is really amazing. Great job. Give them a round of applause. Before I present the class of 2016, I would like to make some special uh, introductions. And I'd like to start with our superintendent of schools, Dr. Brian Hayes. Haynes. Um, and also we have uh, four school board members with us, all Ashwabnan graduates. How awesome is that? Uh, with us, Jay Van Lannen, Mark Williams, Paul Tronson, and Brian Vandercreek. Uh, to my right, our activities director, uh, Nick Singer, and I'd also just like to acknowledge Dirk Ribbons, our associate principal, who's done a great job with this class, also who's unable to be with us today. I'd also like to introduce Joelle Zingler and Eric Momarts, who will be greeting graduates as they exit the stage. Mrs. Zengler and Mr. Momarts have been selected as Teachers of the Year by the class of 2016. HS also had the privilege of hosting a number of foreign exchange students this year, and Karsten Weber from Germany has joined us at our ceremony today. Stand up, Karsten, where are you? There he is. I'd also like to thank his host parents, Tim and Lori Knoll, and graduate uh, Brandon Knoll. Karsten, good luck as you return to your homeland, and I hope you have many fond memories of your time at AHS. Not only is this a special day for the class of 2016, but it also marks Ashwaubenon High School's 50th anniversary. I'd like to welcome back past principals Don Meslinski, Ted Houle, Rick Carlson, and Mark Sheedy, who are sitting to my left, and also the alumni representatives of each of the graduating classes, beginning with the class of 1968. I would ask them and all AHS alumni that are present today to please stand, and let's recognize these people with a big round of applause. Last but not least, to my right, I would like to recognize Amy Bunkelman for not only planning this event, but all the activities the seniors participate in. Ms. Bunk, thank you for all of your done on behalf of the class of 2016. Your leadership, time, and willingness to go over and beyond for the students at AHS is genuinely appreciated. Thank you. And now the presentation of the class of 2016. Three familiar and time-honored themes ring clear at graduation ceremonies, and they are thank yous, a look back, and also a look to the future. 
Our thank yous must start with the parents of the class of 2016. Parents, thank you for partnering with HHS and supporting these graduates on what has been an unforgettable journey the last four years. There is no greater gift a parent can give a child than roots that have grown deep and wings to fly. Congratulations, parents, you have done well. Class of 2016, give your parents and all those that are sharing this special day with you a round of applause. <laughs> to the AHS staff here with us today, thank you for your support, guidance, and always doing what is best for kids. Your commitment is appreciated today and your role in the lives of these graduates will be looked on fondly in the years to come as the class of 2016 reflects back on their days at AHS. Let's give our teachers a round of applause. A look back. Class of 2016, just a few of the highlights. $1.8 million in scholarship awards. It's even bumped up a bit, Heather. The money keeps coming in. It's outstanding. Over 16,000 hours of community service hours. National Merit Scholar. FRCC Conference Regional and Sectional Championships along with individual state qualifiers. And how about a shout out to Chris Lindau, Nathan Holly, and Anthony Nitty who made it to the podium at the state track meet yesterday. Let's give them a round of applause. A state bowling championship, a record number of individual Wisconsin state music honors, state forensics, a top-notch musical production this year of Mary Poppins, Skills USA and Super Mileage, International DECA competition, and the list could go on and on. But probably most noteworthy, the class of 2016 replaced the red tape when working with the WIAA and replaced it with duct tape. Congratulations. <laughs> Not only did the class of 2016 excel in and out of the classroom, but they were leaders, they mentored the underclassmen, taught them the Jaguar way, and always led by example. They always represented AHS well and with a lot of class. While I received many notes during the school year, I will share one I received from a volunteer from the Widener Center where we just had our end of the year concerts last Wednesday. Mr. Nelson, I wanted to drop you a quick email to commend you and your students on an entertaining program last night. Of all the groups of students I have had pass through the Widener Center, and it is a lot, your students hand down, hands down were the most polite, respectful, and courteous of any group we have had. It was refreshing to see such a fine group of young students. Kudos to you and your students. Did the class of 2016 leave their mark? I find that question can be answered with a resounding yes. A look to the future. In closing, I want to share a short story I read a while ago by Stephen Covey called The Story of the, Woodco the Woodcutter. Once upon a time, a very strong woodcutter asked for a job in, in the timber merchant and got it. The pay and the working conditions were good. For those reasons, the woodcutter was determined to do his best. The boss gave him an ax and showed him an area to work. The first day, the woodcutter brought 18 trees. Congratulations, the boss said. Go over that way 
and cut some more. Very motivated by the boss's words, the woodcutter tried to work harder, but he could only bring 15 trees. The third day, he tried even harder, but could only bring 10 trees. The woodcutter went to his boss and apologized, saying he could not understand what was going on. When was the last time you sharpened your axe? The boss asked. Sharpen? I had no time to sharpen my axe. I have been too busy trying to cut trees. My wish for the class of 2016 is that as you begin your new journey, you take time to sharpen your axe, that you take time to stay sharp. In today's world, it seems everyone is busier than ever, but somehow the happiness becomes lost. There is nothing wrong with activity and hard work, but don't become so consumed that you neglect the truly important things and allow your acts to become dull. Keep your family close to your heart. End your texts home with I love you and take time to say thank you. As you continue on your new adventure, take time to pause, reflect, and appreciate the journey. Don't get caught up in the next day, the next week, the next class, the next job. It's a busy world, but learn to enjoy today. Keep your ax sharp. Class of 2016, thank you for contributing to the wonderful legacy we enjoy at AHS. Today, you join an amazing group of alumni who are gathered here today to share in this celebration, and who, like you, will always call Ashwaubenon High School home. Congratulations, and remember, once a Jaguar, always a Jaguar. I would now like to call Dr. Brian Haynes, Superintendent of the Ashwaubenon School District, to the podium. Dr. Haynes, I am pleased to announce that each of these graduates has duly met the requirements prescribed by the State of Wisconsin Department of Public Instruction, along with those of the Ashwaubenon School District. It is with a great deal of pride and pleasure that I present to you the Ashwaubenon High School Class of 2016. Thank you, Mr. Nelson, and thank you for the Class Act comments. I should also probably say thanks for putting your best foot forward. <laughs> well, good afternoon, everyone. As we just heard, we just heard the choir sing just a little while ago, where we've lived and learned of life and friends, we love our here. And as we leave these hallowed halls, and as we go on our way, may we with pride, with pride uphold thy name and return to thee someday. So hail to thee, the class of 2016. Congratulations. I offer my personal congratulations as well as from the Board of Education and all staff. May, our school song reads, May we with pride uphold thy name and return to thee someday. As Mr. Nelson just said, once a Jaguar, always a Jaguar, we want you to know that we really truly are here for you and we really mean that. So what we can do for you in the future, you, you stay in touch with us. We want to keep that connection. I also want to extend a very special welcome and thank you to all of our alumni present this afternoon. I salute the amazing partnership that we have between our community and our school professional community here. Let's give them a round of applause, please. And some of you, if you were at the ceremony last year, heard me express my deepest appreciation. I have to say it again, 
our appreciation for the three new facilities that were supported by the community of Ashwaubenon, again, will be something that we'd be very proud of, and many students and community members will enjoy for many years to come. Thank you very much for that. To say the least, we have a very exciting year ahead as we celebrate grand openings of all three of those facilities. Now before I officially accept the class, I also have to thank an absolutely amazing Board of Education as well as our administrators and the students said it maybe better than I can say it, but our amazing staff. When I say amazing staff, I go all the way back to 4K, to kindergarten, the elementary schools, Parkview, and certainly the high school. I want to say thank you to all staff for so many people pulling on the rope in the same direction for the success of each and every one of you graduates. Thank you. <clears throat> Mr. Nelson said it well a minute ago, but Ashwaubenon is a very special place and it's a special place because of the quality people that we have working in the system. Quality people who really do understand the importance of, of delivering and having high standards for a quality public education, and that being a quality public education for all students. So again, I salute the Board of Education and parents and grandparents that are here for placing high expectations on us to uphold this tradition. Class, I only have two more suggestions before we formally accept you. My first suggestion, my last two suggestions for you as a class, number one, put the cell phones down and remember the importance of quality face-to-face -face communication. Number two, and probably... And number two, and to me, probably the most important suggestion I could leave with you, a lot of you demonstrated this with volunteer service work. Some of you, over 300 hours of volunteer service work. My second suggestion is remember to pay it forward. Remember probably the most important thing you can do is to serve others as you go forward with this transition. Once again, class, I'm very proud of you. I congratulate you, and now, it is my distinct pleasure to officially accept the class of 2016. You may commence to receive your diplomas. Congratulations, everyone. Can you give them some kind of a sign? Gotcha. Heather Christine Hireman. <laughs> Leah Sylvia Witt. <laughs> Tyler John Rowling. Grace Elizabeth Stubb. Jasmine Marie Fensluce. Darren D. Tran. Carter Richard Kraus, Jordan R. Aaron, Taylor Jacob Atz, Yasmin A. Ahmed, Mackenzie Caitlin Alosi, Nicholas Nelson Arias. Will Oscar Randall Ark. Annika Marie Baton. Jesse John Barrett. Samantha Lynn Ballou.
Sierra Grace Berg. Noah William Bertrand. Vladimir Cornell Blazek. Keenan N. Blevins. Matthias William Breen Lyles. Brett M. Brenwall. Jake Reynolds Brenzel. Alex Jesse Brunette. Madeline May Burmeister. Noah William Button. Serena Elizabeth Cadena. Cameron Camacho. Dylan James Campbell. Brandon A. Carl. Grace Marie Checky. Kristen Bryant Clemo. Jordan Ray Cochran. Benjamin R. Coleman. Jasmina Ray Collin. Jackson Alejandro Corpus. Tyler Patrick Cox. Jarrett Mason Curtis. Nicole Marie DeGrave. Michael John DeMille. Jennifer Lynn Demeth. Cassandra Marie Deneve. Nikhil S. Dessen. Jonathan Taylor Destich. Jacob Thomas DeWitt. Dylan Michael Diaz. Adam Christopher Dill. Alyssa Camille Donovan. Kylie Ann Donovan. Natalie Rose Duquesne. Eric Gregory Durbin. Reagan Jean Ernie. Brianna Marie Engstrom. Colin Jude Bangman. Ashton Lane Farrell. Eden Taylor Farrell. Carol Ann Sue Fallhaber. Megan Claire Fisher. Rachel Ann Fletcher. Zachary S. Follett. Derek M. Frazier. Nadia Ann Margaret Mary Freeman. Courtney Rose Frisk. Gabrielle Elizabeth Fritz. Mackenzie Ann Gardner. Ryan Michael Gardner. Stephanie W. Gaston. William Raymond Janess. Megan Ray Gertz. McKaylin Catherine Gilmet. Emily Catherine Goodrich. Alicia Lynn Gracio. Logan Robert Hain. Brent Michael Haynes. Tyler John Haynes. Cody James Hammer. 
Tatum Lynn Haney. Noah Riley Harrison. Andrew Robert Hebring. Brooke Marie Hendricks. Hunter Michael Hermson. Abigail Ray Hoffman. Brent Leslie Hoffman. Nathan T. Holly. Kahari A. Hopes. Jessica Paige Hugie. Zachary David Imig. Logan Richard Jacobs. Nathaniel Lawrence Jacobs. Ashley Brooke Jaquette. Jarrett Jerome Yeager. Zachary T. Isha. Savannah Faye John. Sakora Ellen John. Anastasia Lee Johnson. Tatiana Marie Johnson. Lindsay Rose Jones. Casey Allen Jorgensen. Ashlyn Elizabeth Kyrus. Sophia Grace Callis. Serenity Marie Kay. Mitchell Andrew Kelly. Sarah Jean Kellner. Bradley John Kelly. Amanda Lee King. Devin Michael Klaus. Dakota Scott Knudsen. Beth A. Cook. Bungji Allen Kong. Madeline Von Konchek. Caden Lee Kraus. Alyssa Lynn Krieger. Deontay Aaron Keel. Chase William Cooks. Morgan Rose Kuski. Brooke Lynn LeCount. Hunter Robert James Lottie. Joshua Michael Langfeld. Tanner John Lardnoise. Cody Allen Last. Stefan Artiro Romando Leatherwood. Rihanna Lee Lightsky. Christine Madison Lindau. Elizabeth Rose Lober. Abigail Louise Lukens. Kyra Marie Lutenegger. Matthew John Lux. Christian James Mahoney. Carson Thomas Maldonado. Tasia Malela. Brandon James Manders. Mackendra A. Manders. Caitlin Rose Merrick. Paige Lee Marina. Nathan James May. Taylor Lynn McIntyre. Maggie May Malott. 
Rebecca Ann Messer. Terrence D. Metoxen. Alyssa Isabel Meyer. Imran Hamayan Mian. Cole James Mikolajczyk. Kayla Lee Miner. Samuel J. Misbach. Kayla M. Moore. Macy Jean Monahan. McKenna K. Morrow. Kiana Summer Mua. Druva Morelli. Gabrielle Alyssa Muscovich. Luis Raphael Natel. Alec R. Nelson. Michael Anthony Nikolai. Brett Thomas Nims. Alec R. Nitty. Anthony Michael Nitty. Brandon Robert Knoll. Samantha Michelle North. Alexis Reed Novitsky Freilich. Sierra Love Oshevsky. Renee Elizabeth Pecos. Janmesh Divyong Patel. Meet K. Patel. Alec L. Pearson. Travis William Pearson. Jenna Marie Pirac. Nathaniel James Peterson. Austin Thomas Phillips. Braden Keith Pigeon. Samantha Marie Platerall. Lauren Nicole Pomish. Mitchell T. Powers. Victoria T. Powers. Abigail Rose Reinichek. Vishal V. Rajpurohit. Jessica Joe Raymaker. Colleen Claire Zomekokwa Rice. Miranda Marie Rochelo. Jonathan H. Rogers. Jennifer Rodriguez. Molly Rose Roscom. Jeremy William Rosno. Anthony Raymond Ronavera. Josiah David Santana. Joni Yvette San Diego Pereira. Jared Dennis Schmidt. Brianna Susan Schmidt. Colton Patrick Schrader. Nicholas Lee Schrader. Dane Allen Schumacher. Caitlin Elizabeth Schwacke. Cody Lee Schwackert. Stephen R. Sears. Holly Lynn Shimanek. Nicholas Michael Seiler. Aaron Troy Service. Pridam Damarkar Shankar. Kaylee Sue Shoholm. Ashley Rose Scarda. 
Christian Marcus Smolik, Amy Elise Steinbrecher, Stephen Santo Steinfest, Weston Van Steingraber II, Cole Anthony Steinecke, Alex E. Stewart, Casey Robert Stewart, Suda Vivendron, Jordan Ann Tommy, Megan Marie Tilot, William Robert Tunin, Hannah Margaret Van Dalen, Adam Robert Van Dyke, Jalissa Ann Van Boxel, Kristen Margaret Van Langenberg, Nolan Ryan Vanderheiden, Jade Marie Vandertai, Krissa Jean Van Evenoven, Zena Vu, Derek William Webb, Sophia Marie Werkheiser, Andrew James Werner, Nathan Andrew Wheeler, Garrett John Whitmore, Evan A. Weed, Jacob Randall Weed, Jared Wayne Wilkett, Brad Michael Wise, Deshaun Malik Witt, Elena Margot Wittig, Turner Philip Wittig, Anthony B. Wolkanski, Tiffany A. Young, Nathaniel Lemieux Ziesmer, Karsten Weber, Class of 2016, we made it. We are officially alumni of Ashwaubenon High School. Please join me in moving your tassels from the left to the right. Right to the left. Right to the left. Other way. Congratulations, we did it. And now, with great pleasure and pride, I present the Ashwaubenon High School Class of 2016.